Sit. Stand. Spin. Good boy. Go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm gonna share quick tips on how to teach your dog to play fetch. Now playing fetch is a very fun thing to do with your dog. Because basically, it drains your dog's energy without you have to do much. You just throw the ball and your dog will bring it back to you. Now fetch is also very simple to teach and I'm gonna divide the process into three simple steps. Now I know when we are teaching our puppies or dogs to play fetch, at first things might not go our way. The first common problem is your dog will catch the ball but he would not bring it back to you. And the second most common problem is your dog will take the ball he comes back to you but he would not release the ball. Now, if you are facing this problem, let's jump into the first step. Now, the first and the most important step would be start in a small space. When you are introducing a game of fetch, you should always start in a small space. Maybe a small room or a corner of a room or simply against the wall. Now to start off, show your dog the ball and make it interesting. You can bounce the ball for a few times to excite your dog before finally throwing the ball. Now you shouldn't throw the ball too far from you because remember we need to maintain our distance with our dog. Because when you are nearby, your dog would only concentrate on you especially when you throw it against a wall or a corner because the only way back is to come at you so that is why you should always start in a small space and repeat it several times before you start introducing them to a larger space now the second step is to combine it with the come and out command now when your dog got used to come back to you in a small area test them in the larger area now this step is usually the most challenging step because usually you will face the problem as I mentioned earlier such as A. Your dog takes the ball but won't return to you or B. Your dog takes the ball, returns to you but won't give you the ball back. Now this is where the two commands comes in handy. To solve problem A, your dog needs a strong calm command and you need to be more vocal and exciting as well. When your dog gets the ball, call his or her name, ask them to come, and when they got distracted, simply just run away from him. Because you know, dogs like to chase stuff. Simply just make a movement away from your dog and your dog would most likely come to you. Just make it more exciting, call her name while running, you can do whatever you want to get your dog's attention. Good boy, go. So again, be vocal and be dynamic. And when your dog comes to you, make sure to give them tons of praises. Now for problem B, when your dog comes back to you but he or she would not release the ball, all you need to do is to combine it with the out or drop it command. It is very simple. Simply grab a treat and make a trade with your dog. If he or she releases the ball, say the command out and give him a treat. Here I'm using apples for a treat, but you can use other treats or maybe toys to trade as well. Such as a bite tuck, like the one I have here. Now repeat several times until they understand the command clearly. When your dog finally knows this whole process, to go for the ball and to retrieve it back to you, there is only one step left to execute, and it is step 3. Repeat, repeat, and repeat. When you are repeating the process over and over, your dog would understand the drill without you even have to ask them to come and drop the ball. Your dog will know that if he or she returns the ball to you, something fun is going to happen, because you're going to throw the ball in different directions with different powers, and your dog would definitely love it. You can name this command fetch afterwards that names the whole process of your dog retrieving the ball back to you and just be patient 
because some dog learned it quickly while some others need more time. And that's pretty much it guys, the 3 simple steps to teach your dog to play fetch. Actually, teaching your dog to play fetch is basically you are combining three different commands and it is very easy if you have learned, if your dog has learned those three commands and then those three commands are to go and then, <laughs> and then to come back to you when you call and then the release command or should I say the out command. So sit, first is go. Second one is come. Hello, come. And the final one is to out. Release come. Hello, come. Go. Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you think this tip helps. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and tips. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.